Hello. Today you will be learning the ins and outs of Beam, a framework intended to help discuss and identify different types of resources that you might find while conducting research. For a little bit of background, Beam was designed in 2008 by Joseph Bissop to better expand upon the idea of primary, secondary, and tertiary source classifications, something that may be familiar to many of you already. While primary and secondary classification remains a valid way of classifying resources based on their relative proximity to the source of the information, Beam offers another way to classify sources by how they affect one's own writing. Bizip had this to say in the 2008 paper that outlined his framework. We should adopt terms that allow us to name, describe, and analyze the different ways writers use their materials on the page, or equivalently, the different postures towards their materials that writers adopt. Thus, the acronym BEAM stands for four different types of sources, separated by the, how they are used within research-based writing. These are background sources, exhibit sources, argument sources, and method sources. A background source is a material that helps provide an overview of the topic, often core concepts and facts that are well established within the field. Exhibit sources are the materials that a writer is interpreting or analyzing. This can also be used to provide an example or to give evidence for one's own claim. An argument source is information and or materials that are being agreed with, disagreed with, or built upon within one's own research. This helps situate one's own research within the wider community. Method sources are materials that an author uses to determine how they might complete their own research. This can be a rhetorical lens to analyze a work of literature under, a particular method of formatting surveys and their dispersal, or a mathematical proof used to solve a problem. Each one of these source types will be explained in greater detail later within their own pages. It is also important to know that a category of a given source fits under can change uh, based on the type of research being conducted. A background source being used as a demonstration of a core concept can become an exhibit source to be more closely analyzed in another paper, and vice versa. That about wraps up this introductory video. We are hopeful that the learning of this framework will enable you to better find materials for your own research and to better articulate what you still need to make a well-rounded research paper. Thank you very much, and have a great day.